Hello there and welcome back to France. We're playing as the uh, Front National, is it? With Marine Le Pen. Now I do have plans. We need to get more like stuff. We need to get more industry and what happened to my manpower? What? Where did it all go? Seriously, what what the hell? We're on limited conscription. We had like 700,000 men, which went down to about 500,000. Uh, they're Egyptians. They're Moroccans. They're French. They're Swiss. They're French. They're French. Where's... Where are the rest of my men? Manpower, 7,700. Right, there's something going on here. No, that is the Brigade, uh, the infantry. Okay, maybe that is taking up a few hundred thousand men, but it shouldn't be taking up that many. You are taking up Egyptian manpower, yes. You guys are doing your thing, yes. Okay, how hard is this? Do you have all of your equipment, yes? You require 32,000 guns, and you require a lot of guns. Yeah, we need a lot of guns. Hell of a lot of guns. Motorized and light tanks, but we are creating them. Artillery here, guns there. We're creating quite a few guns. Even some shit guns just to... Uh, oh, good. We uh, won an election. Light tanks being created. And they are heavy tanks. Yes, we need a lot of them as well. We need a lot of stuff, quite frankly. Do we need many more of you? How many do we have? Transport planes. Seven. Well, we'll just uh, keep building. We need lots of factories, obviously. We are producing a lot of factories, but yes, we need to get down on these guys. We do have people on their borders. Uh, Egyptians ready to attack. So we'll declare the wars, and hopefully we'll get enough war well attention out of these to be able to uh, join CSTO. Otherwise, it's just a bit extra land for us. Okay, Egyptian, that's you. Get to work. You should be able to take them out. Alright, we lack resources again. Rubber. Alright, well, I guess, uh, Indonesia, can you give me some of that? Okay. Are these wars? Oh, of course they can't merge. We did call in our friends. We do this again. Nice if they had the option to merge. Eh, it's good, hardly one of our men are dying. It's always the best way to do it. Looks like we are pushing forward with ease. Our Egyptian men. Egyptian strong. Egyptian strong. We just need to get the world tension up. Hopefully we'll get 15 out of this. Otherwise I'll have to keep making friends. I could maybe make Nigeria my friend. We know they have a lot of manpower. So that's another load of troops. But we just lack the guns. We need factories for this shit. There's some. But it's not enough. Infrastructure, synthetic oil, aluminium factories, don't need any of that. You can only need political focus and try to find other stuff. Recruit more diplomats. We don't need that. Isolation, we don't need. Uh, every neighboring nation, but which grants some experience to be required for something like that. Destroy foreign influence. Bath control programs. Less consumer good factories, which is good. Base national unity. Political power. Okay, we'll go down this route for now. We'll uh, decide more closely what we want later. And very later at that. Okay, they are moving good. Just keep them going and we'll take out all of those guys. It'll be great. But we have to go all the way down to the bottom of their nation, which is a lot of hard work. But hardly anyone's dying anyway. There's no issues there at all. Obviously, if we get stuck in a bottleneck, 
there will be some issues. Like we might be stuck in a bottleneck around this area, but we're hoping not to. We sure are hoping not to. It looks like we are pushing forward as well. We could also nuke these guys if we really wanted. But we're not losing anyone anyway. Anyone who's dying is Egyptian. There are lots of Egyptians in our nation to be uh, put to use, so to speak. Well, let's, hopefully we'll get rid of all these guys. No issue. Oh, they're actually pushing us back over here. Yeah, this is an issue. They have had some sort of victory. But looks like we are going to be finishing them off around here as well. What's this? All right, moving on. A major liberal rally. We don't want liberal rallies. Get lost. I'm not going to take over their capital first. I think that's more a smarter idea. I don't want apply to join the EU. Falls. Limited conscription. Yes, we don't need any more. Well, we might need more. Extended conscription, but the training time goes up and factory output goes down. So we'll try to avoid it for as long as possible. And as we're hardly losing any French anyway, you know, 400 odd men. There's no real uh, requirement for this, is there? Are you guys going to hurry up? If we take this city, I think we win. Egyptians. Egyptians indeed. Yeah, since we are getting bottlenecks around here, these are bits, but that's to be expected. Yeah, there's quite a few million people here in Niger. Shame we have to uh, take them over. Because we need the world tension, honestly. Yeah, so we'll uh, take all states. Hardly any world tension at all. That's a huge shame. It's only up to 40. I think we might have to take someone else afterwards, and I would go for Nigeria. We can leave them uh, their southern areas and take the northerners. How strong are you, Nigeria? You would make a good friend. Just fight war goals, conquer northern Nigeria. They would make a very good friend, wouldn't they, Nigerians? All right, now we need everyone over here to finish off with this. Okay, let's uh, delete these lines here. We'll create a new one for everyone to get over to everyone to get over to. And we'll give you a front line to take down to Bamako, like so. Get yourselves down there and uh, get to it as soon as you can, really. Just need to slip through. Maybe even leave those guys there and go around them. It doesn't bother me. But yes, we do have some military forces coming from our sovereign uh, separate nations, I mean. Like the uh, Swiss, they're creating more troops. They're garrisoning their land. We've got a little bit of a front line over there. Shame these guys are so weak compared to the uh, to the guys here. They're so weak. But they're purely defensive for now. Hopefully we'll get our other army out to be able to deal with them. Right, apparently you have a lot of factories. One more gunman would be useful for now. Even though that did just decrease everything. I know it is the shitter guns as well. We'll go for extra factories here. Extra factories here. As soon as you guys are ready to get them. Because we all want a stockpile. They're not guarding uh, Spain at all. It's quite crazy, really. It looks like we have gone around them now. So it should be a lot better when it comes to taking these fallers over. Yeah, we've hardly lost anyone. This is uh, this is very good. What are you doing going that way? No, we need men this way. Let these guys go into there. We need you coming over to Bamako. See, one division's taken on five pretty well. And we have hardly any losses. This is great. Shame not all Africans will be that easy. They might be. Might be. Just have to see. But another big friend. Like Nigeria. It'd be great in our little alliance. Nigerian friends. 
Very good. Let's go straight for the capital, dude. That's where we gotta be. Let them fire back if they want. They won't hit anyone. They are really bad at this. So we just gotta get over there and take them out. So we get the Egyptians. All on the Nigeria border. We only use that for when other people turn up, which... If you hear banging, there is a bird on top of my uh, conservatory roof, and it's obviously made of plastic, so you can hear the bastards pretty, pretty loudly. I am not a fan, but there's nothing I can do to stop it. So, enjoy. Unless it's a cat. No, it's definitely a bird. Yeah, I can see it wandering about. Look at it. Stupid bird. Pigeon, no doubt. Right, Marley, you'll be taking all of your states. Yeah, still not 50%. So we'll take that. Got some equipment. Hopefully guns, because guns are what we need. Also recruited a few men as well. But the Egyptian army here, we want you all on the Nigeria border. Nigeria is going to be our friends. All of Nigeria are going to be our friends. It'll take a while to get them all there, but... Yeah, Nigeria, you're going to be my buddy. Gonna help us take over the uh, the guys designated special forces guns, eh? More factories again. This is good. This is very good. Okay, let's get all of these on max as soon as we can, obviously. We'll build even more guns when we get the. Can these pigeons fuck off? Can we take more of this, please? Let's just get a few good um, factories out of that. Just a few. Yes, yeah, so we get everyone over Nigeria. But this little focus has been taken. Good. So we go down this way. We can get demographic studies. Traditional values get us mo monthly population up. We don't care so much about the population, but mobilizing the female workforce gets us minus population. But factory output goes up a lot. So we want to go that way. We want to get the women in the workforce. Seems very powerful. Generation free night vision. Very good. That's not where he wants to be. He wants to be over here. Getting better stuff. Okay, so now we have a bit more experience as well. Could try and edit these guys to be a bit more powerful. An indoor organization. So the organization. Uh, is currently 26. So put in more of you. It's now 29. Put in another one of you. It's now 31. Okay, that's a bit better. And then we can also do logistics. That's a lot of extra cars, but we'll do that. Yeah. Gonna need a lot of uh, equipment, aren't we? A lot of motorized. Hell of a lot of uh, stuff. I'm also going to want a bigger air force at some point. And we're going to want to try and at least defend our lands. And we'll get rid of uh, whoever we have in these air bases for now. Because I don't like to have guys just wasting around in air bases. I like to know where they are so I can deploy them where I want. But we're fine. Yeah, 21,000 guns is a lot of guns. And there's you. Lots of motorized, lots of light tanks. Lots of stuff. We've got all the support equipment we need. A total artillery we've got a hell of a lot of. So maybe we should up the total artillery amounts. You know, we're barely even using uh, many factories on these. We'll cut them back a little bit to get more tank and motorized production, but it's a lot of stuff. Hell of a lot of stuff. That's a whole 284 days away. That's a whole 129 days away. You're a whole 92 days. You're a whole 82 days. So it's just these motorized, which are the furthest behind. Let's knock you back there. Try to get some extra factories on the motorized. In fact, we'll knock you all the way back. 
Let me put it up to four. Put it up to four as well. Down to four, I mean. And we get, get all them doing their stuff, which is good. So we will uh, get you more resources, which we require. Rubber, indeed. Any more trucks? Hell of a lot more trucks. But yeah, these guns will be good. Cold War equipment, maybe not the best, but it will do the trick. So we're doing now. Now we're doing a load of uh, building factories, which again we need. The more we have them, the faster everything else we built, and we get on the uh, other, thing, other things there. Hopefully, we'll be able to take out Nigeria, who is very powerful in their own right. And then, yeah, we don't even have an army bigger than them. Hopefully there's some factories in the north. I'll try to take as much land as I can while leaving uh, Lagos as a friend. Yeah, so we want them to be a friend. A good friend. Which means we'll be seeing the return of Black Pepe. He'll be uh, involved if we go reactionary, won't he? Lots of resources there, but... Oh, all that extra population just there. Lots of it. Like I say, we'll try not to take all the land. There's hardly any resources up here. Right, extra research. I want... Where's the stuff? Really? Oh, the manpower's gone. It's gone quite a lot. Ah. Can we take another manpower law? Extensive conscription. Yes, we can. It's a shame about the uh, production, but... Yeah. Yeah. Huge shame about the production, because I want my production to be as high as possible. That's not going to cost us some days. A lot of days. 60, 51. It's good they're getting there. Now we have a lot more of these Egyptian fellows coming over to uh, say hi. We're going to bring the sickle. Bring the sickle to the uh, Nigerians. Yes. So I could also try to make a puppet nation over here. But I think I'm a bit far too high on egress expansion now. There's hardly any population over here. Serbia would be the guy. Take care of the Serbs. Oh yes, if I was to puppet one of these guys, let me feed them the rest of the land. That might not do the egress expansion as much. I'm going to call it aggressive expansion instead of World Tension because it just seems... It rolls off the tongue a lot nicer. Look at these guys. They are very strong on our border. The Swiss still reckon they can take him on. But it's a lot thinner over there. See, so might. See our elite troops and such. The Moroccans just there as a sort of meat shield to keep everyone out. Then we'll put a real powerful force behind them to uh, destroy our enemies. How are you doing, Nigeria? Yeah, it's not that long, actually, until we uh, get to have a go with them. They reckon they're stronger. Inferior enemy, yes, but large river. Division still bearing. Some division not in position. A lot of jib. But we'll leave them to it anyway. They should be able to just go for it. They should. Outdated equipment in equipment. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, we want that because it just creates a lot more guns at a faster rate. We need guns. Doesn't matter how good they are. Because those shit guns are going to go to these shit troops, like the um, guys holding the ports. If we get spare good guns, then they can have them. It's that simple, really. Air Force, what are we looking at? There we gain a few. Internal politics. So we go secure national unity. Yes. Then we'll mobilize the female workforce. Yes, we need to go to all the tanks we require. It's the motorized. No, it's not going to take that long to get all the motorized, all the guns either. But then, next thing will be creating lots of um, Nigerian artillerymen. And they're going to be artillerymen, I think, because we do have a lot of artillery left over. So we get some Nigerian artillerymen with support equipment. 
and we should be alright with that. Ah, good, I was just about to check where you were, but that will not happen this episode. I'll see you guys next time for the Invasion of Nigeria. Bye-bye.